let's begin hello everyone today we are going to see how to create a WCF service that is Windows Communication Foundation service so you can select a WCF library in the Visual Studio and create the project so any WCF, WCF service has three parts to it creating a service hosting a service and then writing a client for it so this is the template that we get when we select WCF library so Let's rename this to say Girish service, right? This is the interface, so I'm going to add I in front of it. Similarly, uh, in this interface, I don't really need to complicate things, so I'm going to remove this composite data type. Remove our thing. A service has two parts service contract and operation contract service contract is interface name and operation contract is uh, the attribute for all the operations that we want to provide similarly let's rename this to let's say Grish service and accept the changes remove this method which is no longer part of our interface so we are done with writing a service so this is our interface we have uh, this is the interface name service contract and this is operation contract there is a simple method get data which takes a value and uh, it will basically return you a string and in the concrete implementation we are simply formatting a string for that and returning it so if you run this now you will see that visual studio is hosting hosting this and uh, you can test this uh, this is a test application so uh, visual studio hosts this service for us and it also provides a test client application to test our api so if i say if i pass input as 11 to this uh, method get data and i invoke that api it says you entered 11 so this this one is getting called if i say something 22 invoke you enter 22 and so on so this library is working fine okay now what do we want to do we want to write a client application to invoke this library right so uh, uh, one thing to remember that there is this app configuration which provides some details about the service okay if we run this service okay and we go to this uh, address so you can see it is uh, hosted at this particular address and it gives some information to us that if you want to write a client for this service you can do these things that you, you can use this svc util and this command and to run this command you need a developer prompt or visual studio developer prompt i'll go to d drive i'll fire this command and it will create me Grish service and output configuration file so it creates these two files and i'm going to copy them uh, let's create another project of to write a client so this is our project let me start in uh, you know uh, as a survey as admin so that I'm sure that everything is fine so with this uh, create a new project uh, I'm going to select a desktop here and I'm going to select a WPF application I'll say next Cre uh, create I can create another problem and with this uh, now what we can do is we can go to uh, we can go to this folder where this uh, files are there and I will copy my service file here okay so in that uh, references first I need to add a reference for a service model so this is the model that I will need and I will include this new file that we just added uh, existing item uh, in my project so that service is available now for us so this app.config needs to be updated to have this configuration so simply copy this configuration data into this uh, app.config file and now we should be able to access our service but before we do that let's add something a text block for showing the output from the service okay and i'll give it a name name x colon name yeah name should be text one and i'll also give some font size is equal to 30 this is fine and uh, 
text block should not contain anything and let's add a button okay so button is like uh, invoke this service so here x colon name is equal to uh, not necessary but anyways font size I'm going to give 30 and the content is going to call service okay and when we call this service what we want to do is we want to create a client get service client a client is equal to new get service client right this is our client we can call a method get data and we can pass some value to it and we can collect the output from the service and we can assign our text one dot text we can assign that output to our output and we can say client dot close simple that's the output that we would like to have and I can build this application my test uh, my service is already running so I'll run this application and I'll call this okay call service you entered 11 since we are passing 11 here so instead of 11 if we want to pass some random numbers okay so what we will do we can use uh, I have some code snippet to use some random number generation so I'm going to use this random uh, number generation thing and uh, instead of 11 I'm going to say that okay uh, call this uh, random generation random send some random number to it okay and if I run this now you'll see okay we are invoking the service we are passing different numbers and the service is giving us this output so that's it uh, so it's simple uh, application there are two parts one is creation of the service so a service consists of basically interface and some operations uh, we need some concrete uh, implementation for that service and then it gives us some uh, base address and bindings these kinds of details then we can use this address and uh, we have to host it right now we are hosting using visual studio and once we host it we we get some more details about this svc util using the svc util you can generate those two files uh, those files can be used like this this file can be used in the client api a client application and uh, this app.config can be used to configure your file uh, configure your project client client api and then you can start using uh, consuming that service so it's a very good concept and i hope that it was useful so let's stop this